Howdy folks, Ed here. Welcome back to Bullnose Garage. What is a bullnose? And why do I have one? A bullnose is a Ford truck built from the years 1980 to 1986, like the one behind me. This one here is a 1985 F-150. Bullnose trucks are F-150, F-250, 350, or Bronco, anywhere from 80 to 86. And why are they called a bullnose? Well, because the front of the truck looks kinda like a bull's nose, if you imagine. So why do I own a bullnose? Well, it's a project truck for me. I've always loved Ford trucks. In fact, my daily driver is a 2007 Ford F-150. So the F-150 platform is something I, I know and love very much. And I wanted something older that I could work on, something carbureted, something that was easy for me to sort of sink my teeth into and learn how to rebuild engines and do all the kind of mechanical stuff. See, my entire life, I've been a computer guy. I write programs for a living, so I never really worked very much with my hands. And I thought, what better way to get my hands dirty than to do it on an old Ford truck? So, my project. So why did I choose this particular truck? After all, I had to drive all the way to San Antonio, Texas to pick it up. Well, I couldn't find any trucks like what I was looking for around here. So what does that mean? Well, first of all, as you can see, it's in pretty good shape. The paint's a little faded, but there's no rust, and uh, the body is really straight. So that's one thing. Another thing that's pretty obvious is that it's a short bed. Now I was looking for a short bed because I want a truck that's gonna be a little bit sportier because I'm planning on putting a few more horses under the hood and making like a little street truck out of it. Now I'm not gonna do any kind of racing or anything, but uh, what I'm going for would be better with a short bed. So I wanted to make sure I got one of those. It also runs really well. I basically could just drive it right out of the box except for the fact that it's a manual. So. I knew I wanted a manual because I'd never driven a stick shift before in my life. And I figured what better way to learn how to drive a stick than to buy a vehicle that I can't drive unless I know how to drive a stick. So I had to teach myself and that's what I did. And I'm glad to say that it works. I can now drive a stick shift. At least I can drive this stick shift. The last thing that I wanted to make sure that I had no question was air conditioning. I mean, because come on, I live in New Mexico and it is hot as in New Mexico. Let me go ahead and start her up and I'll let you take a listen. The engine in this truck is an inline six and it's got an NP435 manual transmission. That's a four speed, but it's effectively a three speed. The first speed is granny low. I mean, I could throw this thing into first gear, get out and walk alongside it. So you basically never use first gear in a truck like this. Even though I pretty much just started my channel last month, I've had the truck for a couple of years. So I've had some opportunity to do just a little bit of work to it. So let me just briefly go over some of the stuff that I've already done. I've changed all the fluids, including this stuff. I've replaced both side mirrors. I replaced the door and window seals. And I replaced the door striker. I've repositioned the license plate so the tailgate doesn't smack it. 
when it comes down. I've changed the battery twice. I have replaced the alternator. I replaced my marker lights and updated the blinkers. I replaced my tail lights. I've wrapped the steering wheel. And I've replaced the rear view mirror. I added LED dash lights. And LED interior lights. I let some from Craigslist load something into the back of my truck with a forklift and bend the bed. So that's my bull nose, but I'm not done. I mean, I started this channel with the intent of making videos for people who may have a similar truck or similar interests. And uh, mostly because I've never done this before. And this is all gonna be a learning experience for me. And so I'm kind of hoping that by going through this and, and having a learning experience, that uh, if I film it, maybe I can help some other folks. So let's talk about what my plans are for the Bullnose and for this channel. And I, I got a whole bunch of them. So obviously the big deal is a new engine. The truck right now has a 306. It's an inline six. And these motors are bulletproof. And there's gonna be a lot of people, a whole lot, that are gonna tell me that I shouldn't swap the motor. That the 306 is one of the greatest engines that Ford ever made and it's ridiculous to pull a perfectly good running 306 out of a truck and put in something different. But a 306 is not the engine that I want for my application. What I want is something with a little more punch. So what I'm putting in there is a 351 small block. And I actually already have one, but that's a future video. Um, eventually, I would like to stroke it probably to 408 and get between 400 and 500 horsepower. But that's a long ways down the road. I think to begin with, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a regular engine rebuild and I might put a couple of power adders on there, but I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do with that just yet. And of course, um, I'm gonna do basically everything that I can to make the truck as nice as possible. So we'll do some interior work. Uh, I'm gonna work on the interior molding, make it look nice. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna spray paint it or if I'm gonna wrap it with some kind of fabric or you know, what I'm gonna do there. Um, I do know I wanna put some kind of sound deadening on the inside. I do want to add carpet. Uh, right now it's just that old rubber mat on the ground. I wanna uh, take care of that. Uh, I'm gonna have to reupholster the seats or get real nice seat covers, but I think I'm probably gonna end up reupholstering. Um, so I'm also going to do a lot of electrical work. When I inherited the truck, uh, well, when I purchased the truck, whoever I inherited it from, uh, did some questionable electrical work. So I need to go in and take care of some of that. I'm gonna replace the headlights um, with probably LED headlights. And eventually I'll be putting in a stereo system, um, probably putting speakers in the door panels and adding things wherever I can figure out how to add them. I might try to put a double din radio in there. I'm not quite sure yet. I've got an extra dash piece um, bezel for the radio. So just, uh, I screwed up, I've got an extra. So we might try that for an episode. Um, I gotta change the horn. The horn that's in it right now is stupid. Maybe one of these times I'll honk it for you and let you hear it. It's it's really terrible. So I wanna upgrade the horn. Um, at some point, I may paint the truck. I'm not sure if I have the ability to actually spray paint a vehicle, but I think I'd like to try. Um, I've watched a lot of videos on it. I've seen a lot of, uh, of uh, instructional videos and read a lot of websites and forums and stuff. And uh, we'll get it sanded down and stripped back probably to metal and put some, uh, primer on it and get it sanded and do all the blocking and everything else and then pick a color and, and maybe paint it. Um, I've also thought about putting vinyl on it 
in terms of like a vinyl wrap, although I wouldn't wrap the entire truck, but I might wrap parts of it uh, rather than do a two-tone paint job because I'm not sure I could pull off a good two-tone paint job, especially since I've never painted a vehicle before. Um, I've thought fleetingly about doing a Crown Vic swap. So for older Ford trucks, especially older 79 or older, the generation before mine, a lot of guys put Crown Vic front ends in them um, from 2002 and forward Crown Victorias because they basically just bolt right in and they're more of a car suspension. So they handle uh, power much easier and they ride much better. You can do a Crown Vic swap on a bullnose. It's a lot more work than, um, it's called a dent side from the, the earlier generation up to 79, but it can be done. So I'm thinking about that regardless of whether I do that or not, I'm gonna have to upgrade the suspension on the truck just because it's a little sloppy and I'm putting a little bit heavier engine in there and it's gonna have more power. So I wanna make sure that I'm not falling down on my suspension. Um, I've thought about upgrading the transmission. A uh, NP435 isn't exactly a race transmission. Not that I'm gonna be racing it, but it's a very solid truck transmission that drives like a truck. And it could probably handle four or 500 horsepower as long as you're not working it too hard. But what I'd really like to have is a ZF5. A ZF5 transmission is a heavy duty, still a truck transmission, but it's a five speed with overdrive. And uh, the fact that my truck doesn't have overdrive right now is, is rough, um, especially on the interstate, you know, going 65, 70 miles an hour, it's spinning pretty high. So I'd really like to have an overdrive transmission. If I had all kinds of money, I'd go out and get a TKO transmission and, you know, put one of those in there, but they're big bucks. So we'll see what happens. And um, I've also thought about maybe changing the rear end, uh, getting a locking differential or changing the gears. Um, to be honest with you, I don't remember exactly what the gears in there are right now. I'd have to look it up. I have it written down somewhere, but I've thought about changing the gears and doing a gear swap in the back and adding a locking differential. Um, obviously, I'll be upgrading the tires and the rims. In fact, that's probably coming in the next couple of weeks. And uh, I'll be doing things here and there to spruce the truck up and uh, just make it better overall. So I've got a lot of plans and hopefully they pan out and hopefully you guys get to see them because I'm really excited about doing all this stuff on camera and uh, getting some of this stuff out there. And especially when it comes to the engine, I've got some really uh, interesting ideas as to what I might do in terms of you know, pistons and heads and uh, camshaft and that kind of stuff and how I'm gonna get to the horsepower numbers that I eventually wanna get to. Um, thinking about maybe using some cheap eBay parts just to see how they work. I mean, I've got a, a donor engine, so if I blow it up, then well, I mean, I've still got the original 306 I could drop back in if I had to. Or, you know, 351s aren't that, that hard to find in that junkyard somewhere. So, yeah, I may have a little bit of leeway to screw up. I mean, it's my first engine build ever. I've, I've never even worked on a small engine before. So, um, I may be biting off more than I can chew, but hey, you know, that's part of the channel. That's, uh, that's part of what we're doing here. All right, guys, there you go. That's a bull nose. That's my bull nose. That's what I've done, what I plan to do my plans for the channel, all that stuff. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, gripes, internet ramblings, stick them below. As always, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.